Hello, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, posting files inside of Moodle. So uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a simple post of, a, of one uh, file that we want to see uh, in our main course uh, listing. So what we have here is we have our course, we've turned on editing, and basically we're going to go to add resource and go to file. Okay, we're going to call this um, sample lesson or lesson plan template. Okay, so let's say that we need to upload a lesson plan template. Okay, and so we have, um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, click add for content. Now this is the standard add uh, dialog box, um, and we always have this upload. Okay, so I'm going to click browse, and I have my lesson plan template right here, and then I can um, Okay, it's nice to keep all the um, licensing correct. Um, okay, so I go ahead and I upload it. Display is automatic. This is means when you click on the link, or when a student clicks on a link, it will automatically detect their browser and computer settings. Um, okay, so we have common uh, common module settings. This is uh, whether it will show in the course. So we are all set. So we're going to go uh, save and return to course. Okay, so there we have it. We have this uh, our, our now our document that we just uploaded will appear inside the course listings. Uh, in this case, let's go ahead and turn off uh, editing just so we can see what it will look like to the student. Okay, so this is how it would appear to the student. Uh, there's our course or there's our um, file here. Okay, let's say that we didn't want to have it appear inside like let's say that it's just part of a lesson and we don't want it to necessarily appear on this main course page. Um, okay, so let me go into a, whoops, we're going to go into a um, lesson and edit it. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and do uh, introduction to course documentation. Oops, and I didn't click on edit. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and click on, uh, we're going to edit Introduction to Course Documentation. Okay, we're going to um, add a lesson plan here. So we have lesson plans. To get this nice uh, break when you're doing a bulleting, you hold down Shift and Enter. And then we're going to do Shift Enter, Sample Lesson plan. Okay, so let's say now I want to just link to a document, but I don't know, I don't want this document to appear in the main course listing. I just want to put it inside of my my lesson. Okay, so I'm in a this is a regular um, single or multiple file upload lesson. So we click on the link. Okay, and now we have this insert and edit link. We have link URL. We can click on the browse button. Okay, now here I also get this upload file. Now I have a couple a couple options here. Okay, so I can go to recent files, and notice that my lesson plan is still available here. Okay, now Moodle will handle all of this. If I click on this um, on the same file, I could just choose the same file again. Moodle will keep track of where I've used this file and say I deleted it from the front page of the lesson. It will still work. Um, I could also upload upload an additional new file, so so I really have the choice here. I could upload a new file. I can go get my same file. Let's say that I we're going to pretend that I had not uploaded the the file previously, and let's say I just want to upload a new file to put on this link. Okay, now I have the option to change the file name here. So let's say that I want to call it. Oops. Let's say that I want to call it a um, lesson plan. Let's say I want to call this sample lesson plan and upload file. Okay, now notice that I have uh, now it gives me the link for the, the just uploaded file, and now I can click insert. Okay, so. 
those are kind of our two ways to insert a single file. Let me go down and click Save and Display. So now what I have here is I have my, you know, right inside the lesson. I can click on Sample Lesson Plan and it will give me, notice, remember that I changed the name on it so I get the Sample Lesson Plan. Um, so that's our second way to, uh, to add a file into our course. So we can add a single file into the course <clears throat> inside of a lesson like this where it will not appear on the main course page. We can also add the file in as a resource where it will actually appear as a link on the main course page. Good luck.